Coming up, we're gonna share how to make your app successful using two simple tools. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads and, more importantly, those revenues. And today, we're going to talk about two critical elements you need to have in your app to make sure it is set up for success. And to break down those two things is the head of product at HelpShift, Eric Ashby. Eric, welcome to the video. Oh, Steve, so, so excited to be here. Thank you for uh, you know, inviting me to join and talking about this, uh, this subject, which I, I think is just super important. So, so super glad to be here. Eric, let's talk about this. How do we make our app successful? I know it's a generic term and there's so many variables that go into it, but how would yeah. you break it in simplistically for us? Yeah. I mean, you, you, brands spend all this time, uh, trying to make their app, getting it out there, put it on the app store. But, um, there's two key components that are very often missed. And, and that's what we're going to talk about. Um, the first one is a knowledge base. It's about getting the information to the consumers, getting them the help that they need, and then also being able to capture feedback from the consumers so that you know what's working and what's not. Uh, those are the two things, a knowledge base and user feedback. Eric, I'm going to push back a little bit. Shouldn't your product be so good that you might not need a knowledge base? I mean, that's a classic, uh, classic design, um, you know, concept is you want to be able to have it so simple that that you don't actually need any sort of knowledge or any sort of FAQs. The question is, how do you get there? Mm. Like, how do you actually know that it's that good? And so typically what you, you have to do is at the beginning, you've got to release your product. You want to release it quickly and you want to have the knowledge there so that you can see where, where people have questions, where they, you know, where are they stumbling? And then you can then make that part of the product better. And that's where the feedback comes in. Feedback is so critical so that you can actually have the feedback of, hey, look, we're, we're stumbling here. We're not working there. Um, otherwise, you think it might be great. And you have no idea that the consumers are really having a hard time with this or with that. So that's why they're both important to have, especially right out of the gate. I know HelpShift helps us tie both this knowledge base and a feedback tool into an all-in-one solution. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So, so this last year, we've, uh, we released uh, our Feedback Plus SDK. Uh, you know, if you take a look at, at HelpShift, we've been around for several years. We actually have over 3 billion devices that use HelpShift for, for customer service. Uh, and we took a look at the core capability of that, and and we realized that for app developers, this is there's some really interesting t technology around the self help, around the uh, around the FAQs, and around the feedback. And so we bundled that together in a feedback plus, and then we made it available for free. So uh, you know, for these app developers, right at the very beginning of the the life cycle, they can deploy this get that help out, uh, you know, get the self-help out there and then get the feedback back. Let me just dive in a little bit more and, and explain, that, especially when you're talking about a mobile app, the knowledge base and actually having an integrated knowledge base is super important. Often what brands will do is they'll they'll say, oh yeah, we, we know we have knowledge. We just link out to our website. But what happens when that when you do that, you're, they're now out of the app. So you want to have the, the, the knowledge base actually embedded in the app. And uh, it, it, as an example, you want to be able to have it there they just click on a question mark that opens it up. You can, they can see what are the popular articles. They can search for articles. It can be actually relevant tied to the screen that they're on. So it opens up exactly what, you know, where they're at. Um, and, and in fact, if done right, uh, we actually can see that 95 or 98% of all questions that somebody can have it actually answered right, uh, right there in the app. And then they get back to, to using the app. So that's, that's, that's what the knowledge base can do. And that's, you know, that's kind of an example of that. Eric, one thing I did want to ask you with all the apps that you guys have worked with and all the data that you currently have, like, is there one question within the knowledge base that you're like, definitely have this one thing in your app? That's actually interesting. Um, in fact, when, when you start up and you get on with the, with our feedback plus, we actually will put the top questions that people have already in your knowledge base. Oh, so right. we've already had that because yeah, yeah, because we've, like I said, we've been on over 3 billion devices, so we know what are the common questions that people have. So it's already preceded there, and you just go in and, uh, and you update that. In fact, it makes it, the deployment of this is very simple. You install the SDK, uh, will precede your knowledge base with what are the common, common questions out there. Uh, it's typically about rewards, gameplay, account, login. Those are, are typically the, the top ones that, that you'll see. And then we also have the feedback collection bot which is an automatic bot that you can use that will uh, you know, ask you for 
reporting a bug, rating whether you like the game or not, or reporting a suggestion. Oh, we'd like this change. And those are the common three things that, that you want to get in feedback. And then what's great about that is that you're able then to use that to improve your product, which is what you, you want to do. You know, as an app creator, uh, you want to spend your time building the app, not answering questions. So the FAQs do that. And then as an app creator, you want to know where do you, where do you need to improve your app? And that's what the feedback does. So it's saving you time uh, and helping you focus on what you need to do. Eric, do you have any favorite case studies and success stories that you want to share with us? Well, it's, it's interesting. Um, I mean, uh, let me just tell you what we typically see when a, when a brand is, uh, you know, is starting up. So, so typically a brand is starting up and there's always this concern about like, okay, you know, how fast are we going to grow? What's how, how many people are we going to, we're, we're going to get on. And, and so what we'll do is we'll imp- integrate the feedback plus SDK. So they get the FAQs, the knowledge and the feedback going, and we'll see brands go from, you know, 10 customers to 10,000 customers to a hundred thousand customers to a million customers literally within a few weeks and already from the get-go they're getting that feedback and they're getting that um, they're getting the feedback and they're having the questions answered now at that point they typically will start to say okay now how do we even scale even further and they might look at some of the the, the customer service functionalities of being able to respond to in-app chat or things like that and we have of course we can um, you know expand and add those capabilities on but for you know kind of that initial phase uh, the feedback plus is just such a great tool for them because it allows them to focus on making their app better. Um, and that's typically how we see the, the process goes. You know, one of the things I really love about this feedback tool is it stays in the app. And one of the things that I've done on my website just alone was just have a little chat tool. And sometimes that's all you need because some people are having problems. They want real time answers. And if you keep them in the app, you're really talking to somebody. I know you guys have some systems where it's like, chatbot and you can have certain things set up as you scale, but you get some really great intel from your users by keeping them within the app, allowing them to chat real time with somebody. And that's so important. Um, you know, we've, we've talked to some, some brands about their feedback and their strategy for feedback. And what most brands don't realize is they're going to get feedback. You're going to get feedback whether you want to or not. Yep. And if you don't have a path, then it's going to be that feedback is going to come out very publicly out in the open in the way that the consumers want. And so if you provide a feedback path inside of the app, it provides such an easy, low friction way for the consumers to interact with you. They feel like you care about them because they're like, oh, look, they they took the time to provide me a path where I can actually talk to somebody or I can have a, a way that I can give that feedback and, and interact with the brand directly without having to go to go out there. And so so as a brand, you're going to get feedback. The best thing you can do is incorporate it in the app so that you can manage it, collect it and and make your app better. Anything else I missed that you want to make sure we cover, Eric? Well, I just want to just want to, you know, really encourage, especially everybody who's out there. The reason why they're, you know, this forum is so great is because the community is building so many great things. And uh, I would just encourage them to think about what are they doing to take care of their consumers and give them knowledge? And what are they doing to close the gap to make sure that they're getting the feedback back from their from their consumers? To me, that's just so important. It's the way you're, you're going to make your app great. So. Completely agree. It's like, and Eric, what I found too through my years of business is like really understanding the feedback. Like don't just take it at face value. What does it mean? And like really analyzing the feedback you're getting from your customers to figure out, okay, what is the real solution that they're looking for? So, and one thing I want to mention is you can get started for free. So go to helpshift.com. Go check out the feedback plus SDK and you can get started for free and all of it's super easy to set up. The most popular questions are already baked in. All you got to do is answer them and put in the details, but you have the template ready to go. I love it. Helpshift.com. Eric, if the audience wants to connect with you in any other way, do you want to send them anywhere else? Well, they can always contact us there. We have uh, our own feedback there. Uh, they can always email me. I'll share that, eric at helpshift.com. They can send me an email anytime, and I, I'd be happy to, to talk to anybody about this. Once again, it is helpshift.com. Go check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.